I think Coogan's actually the godfather, isn't he, to one of Billy Joe Saunders' nieces. So, so Coogan's close to Billy, isn't he? He's his mate, they get on, there's nothing wrong with that. But Coogan knows that deep, deep, deep down, that it's just dragging on and on and on. I mean, how old is Billy now? Let's have a look. I mean, this kid went to Olympics, Billy Joe. It's not like he's not a talent, is it? I just don't like to see wasted talent. I mean, he's got all the skills in the world. Uh, Billy is, I think, he, I think uh, August's his birthday. Oh. 30th of August, 1989. So Billy's 31 this summer. And he's been, don't forget, he turned pro at a young age. He won it. I think he was the youngest ever Olympian, wasn't he, that we've ever took. Him and Amir Khan, I think, were the youngest ever. Two thousand, yeah, Billy Joe were 19 at Olympics. 19. 2008, yeah, no, Amir Khan was 17, so he's probably one of the youngest ever. But I mean, I mean, look at this here, right? Billy Joe Saunders won a world title in 2015. Since then, he fought Artif Akaboff, 16-1. From Russia, and he's <laughs> he, he was ranked 70 in the world, but yeah, he had a world title shot. He then fought Willie Monroe. He's ranked number seven in the world. So, but he only had a 22% KO ratio. That means he's a non-puncher. Typical Frank Warren opponent, a non-puncher, so that his fighter's not at risk. Akavov, 39% KO ratio. None of these can punch for Toffee. David Lemieux, 38 and 3, big puncher, 75% puncher, 34 knockouts. But that was all he had, wasn't it? Big punch, he didn't have all else, but Billy took him to school and then took him to university. And then he fought Charlie Adamu. Now, Charles Adamu, I don't know if anybody knows this, he fought Carl Froch. That's how old he is, 42 year old. Ranked 282 in the world. Now, he's from Ghana. Charles Adamu is from, a Ga he's from Ghana, right? I fought Carl Froch 16 years ago and he's fought Billy, didn't he? Right. Charles Adamo has got his head on stamps, right, in his country where he's from, his head is on a stamp. I know that's crazy, but it's a true story. His head is on, on stamps. After Charlie Adamo, right, nobody really knew what was going to happen now. Charles Adamo was over a year after the David Lemieux win. So Billy, D Billy Joe Saunders beat David Lemieux, right, Bernard Hopkins, Told somebody who Dennis knows, right, that he were mesmerised. He were like, "Wow!" I mean, you seen what Billy Joe Saunders did to David Lemieux, didn't you? He can turn it on just like that when he wants. And I was sat me. I was like, "How in awe of what he did that night?" A bit like with Tyson, really. We uh, Vladimir, I was just in awe. And you've got to respect that. But then after that fight, he's out the he's out the ring. <laughs> after that fight, he's out the ring for one year, one year and six days. So he's a year and six days out the ring. Right? And if you go a year out of the ring, box rep take you off at rankings. So he got took off the box rep rankings, and he fights a guy, 179 and a half pounds. So he's so he's 20 pound heavier than his previous last fight. Now, how bad is that? I mean, how, how that's craziness. Utter craziness. Uh, event. Right. I'll tell you, wait. So, I just, I just felt let down by that, me. Really let down. Light heavyweight contest. Well, how can it be? When he came in four and a half pound heavier than light heavy, it's technically a cruiserweight contest, isn't it? 
Heavy, light heavyweights 175, cruiserweights 200, old cruisers what weight 190, he's coming in 10 pounds less than old cruiserweight, come on, cruiserweight contest but we'll call it light heavy, but he just wanted to get a win, fair enough, they got, they got him out, they got him a win, Charles Adamu though, Charles Adamu, who fought Carl Froch, God, years ago when I had hair, you know, it is, I think after that fight, right, I think after that fight, I think Billy Joe Saunders must have thought, I need to get me shit into gear, I need to get me sent into gear, and stop messing about. Now, after that fight, Shefat Isufi, right, so we've gone, Andy Lee, Irishman, Russian, Akavov, American, Munro, I think Lemieux's ca Canadian, is he? Yeah, he's Canadian. And then we've got she Shefa Izufi, right? That's in Stevenage. So that was Billy Joe Saunders' first fight in England since Willie Munro. So that was like nearly two years, right? 20 months and he ended up winning a vacant WBL vacant and then he's fought Marcelo Esteban Cosares and knocked him out um, and he was 28 and 0 so he was ranked 44 in the world Shefat Isufi were ranked 91 in the world you've got a guy 91 in the world and he's fighting for a vacant world title how messed up is that? Now a vacant world title on Boxwick, do you know what your rankings should be? Ask any matchmaker. If it's a good fight and you're fighting for a vacant world title, you've got to be ranked in top in top 15, haven't you? You've got to be in top 15. Surely to God. You can't be ranked 91, it will. What does that say about the WBO? Who is passing these fights? Don't they have like a quality control? You know like free sports who we deal with. Free sports is who Dennis deals with, right, for TV. They have a quality control, people. Michael O'Rourke, the guy who owns free sports from Ireland, he used to own Satanta. Then it went bust, obviously, and then he, he had to wait seven years before he could more be involved with, with owning TV stations again now. Dennis wouldn't have been able to get that passed, no way. He wouldn't have even put that on. You can't go to TV companies like that and say, we want to put this fight on here. Chef Fatty Zufi. But Frank delivered. So Billy is now a two weight world champion, but since then he's fought once with Eddie Hearn. He's had one fight with Eddie Hearn, right? Now this guy, who oh, Billy Joe Saunders has just beat them for a world title. Do you know after he lost against Billy Joe Saunders, this Isufi guy, he fought a guy with a losing record. That means he's got more losses than wins, right? And that guy were ranked 274 in the world. Do you see where I'm coming from? That's... It just... So how did they get that pass? How did they get that pass for a WBO? I don't know. But that's who Billy Joe Saunders. So, so he's ranked 91 and then the other guy that Billy Joe Saunders had just knocked out, he's ranked 44 and Billy iced him in the 11th round. The guy ranked 44 in Wales. So is Billy Joe Saunders a super middleweight? No, I think he's a world level super middleweight, but I think he's a world class middle, and I think there's a difference there. If you're taking 11 rounds to stop a guy ranked 44 in the world, right, you go into 11th round before you stop him. What chance have you got of stopping Canelo, who's classed as the best in the business, or what chance have you got of fighting Callum Smith? you up against it, aren't you? They're not 50-50 fights, they are 60-40 fights, maybe. 
I don't make Billy Joe a favourite against Callum Smith or Canelo. But at middleweight, at super middle. <clears throat> but at middleweight, I think it's I think Billy's a better chance against Canelo at middle than he has at super middle. That's just my opinion. I mean Canelo's fought at light heavy, hasn't he? So that's just my opinion. It's just uh, my opinion don't mean no to anybody. But that's just my opinion. Uh, so that's about it really. I'm gonna go to Leeds now. I'm gonna do some filming in car actually. Do some filming in car. Oh, let's put the big coat on today. I don't know, like. I'm not into all them Stone Island coats, mainly because I can't afford it. And they look they make some lovely coats, but they're like this. The big Michelin man coat. I put this on today, I think. Oh. oh no, I might put this on. So what? Where the sun? You know what? Uh yeah, I think we'll have this on. Uh, in fact, no. I need this on. I ain't getting my car with that, will I? <laughs> Can't swing a cat in my car. Uh, right. So I think that's about it really. I think I'll take that. Did I say did I have two of them when I come in? Mm. Did I have two files when I come in here? I think I did, didn't I? I'll put that there. Yeah, I'll be like, alright, see ya. Yeah. Yeah. Check that. Move that there. In fact, I'm going to check that because it's more, more paper on it. When I'm going, I need a lot of paper. Still got plenty of videos to go out this week. I can do it out this today to leave, to be honest. I've got loads on. I just seem to get on a roll and then I get dragged back with some of that. But it's all good. We've got to try, haven't we? Team, team players, team players. Uh, keep that turned off. I'll post that tomorrow. Uh, some good, good stuff there on that. Two seconds. We'll be off. to station. So, peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing, and don't listen to the... <laughs> Car keys. Car keys would be good, Russ.
see if we can get let's see if we can get these on channel this will be funny way in it watch this <laughs> you don't want to come on channel girls yeah, you ah, you're not boxing fans <laughs> all right well have a good one i'm going anyway we're to leave okay. you take care bye bye Shy. I don't know what can you do. Can't get everybody on, can you? Not everybody's into boxing, are they? But um, oh, oh, I don't think I've lost some. Two seconds. We don't edit no out, do we? Only because we don't know how to do it. Trying to keep it authentic. Ta -da. Lens cover. Seconds. cold today I bet Eddie Hearn don't have to go out in cold does he hey I bet Coogan Cassius and all them lot I bet they're all sat in some nice hotel warm not chasing about like I am uh, should do it all right let's go pick a topic We'll get something done. We don't mess about here at Porky's Corner, we're the real McCoy. <laughs> oh, we're trying 